Hey everybody. Today we're doing some RStudio setup, making some changes to the defaults that'll set us up for long-term success in our coding, that will enforce some best practices as well as just making our lives a little bit easier. So here's our default open um, default R Studio when we first open it up. The very first thing I want to do is to go up to the um, view tab here at the top, panes, console on right. And you'll see that will literally move your console over to the right. The reason that we do this is that we don't end up using the environment history pane very much. We do end up doing a lot over here in a script or quarto document. And so we end up just sort of minimizing that environment and history tab all the time. On the right, console sometimes gets used, but maybe not that much. The files and plots pane, even less so. So a lot of times what we end up doing is then sort of maximizing the console on the right, maybe even making a little bit more room for the script that we're actually working in. So this is just gonna make your um, quality of life a little better when you're working with R. Next, I wanna go up to Tools and Global Options to make a few changes here to enforce some best practices. Under the general heading, I'm going to Workspace, and I wanna make two changes there. I'm gonna uncheck the Restore R data into Workspace at Startup box, and then I'm going to change the save workspace to our data on exit as never. Basically what this means is that when you restart R, either by choice or because it's you know, had to restart for some reason, um, all of your variables and other objects that you've saved will be cleared. And um, the reason is you don't reason for doing this is that you don't want to get too reliant on things that you've just saved into your workspace because those can go away very easily if you have a force restart or anything like that. Much better practice is to view the um, the code that you write in a script or a quarto document as your primary thing, as the real thing. I have a meme that goes along with this, it's Beyonce, of course. If you liked it, you should have saved the source for it. In other words, the, uh, the place where the thing actually came from. The plot isn't the actual thing you're really gonna be saving, it's actually gonna be the code that makes the plot, for instance. I'm afraid I don't have a source for this meme. If this is yours, let me know. I'll definitely credit you for it. I, uh, I just have lost track of where I found this five or 10 years ago. All right, so there are lots of other options here um, in, this, uh, in this global options menu that you might be interested in. I know that some of you have coding backgrounds in other environments and you might be interested in appearance. You can choose a different editor theme. You might want a dark theme. I'm a freak that likes an actual light theme. So um, one other change I am gonna make here is under code. This is a fairly small thing, but let's go to code and then check the use native pipe operator box. Um, this is, uh, when you're, if you're just starting out, this is kind of a technical thing you don't need to worry about too much, so I won't say too much about it right now. Finally, when you're all done, regardless of uh, which of these changes you've made, you should go to OK to uh, actually save these changes. Two more things I want to do in this video. The first is uh, to make sure that we stay a little bit organized. One of the biggest challenges when you're doing data science is that you end up having lots of sources of information, code, etc. And those can get saved in weird places on your machine and sort of the, the organization becomes an issue. In order to uh, handle that a little bit better right from the start, I'm going to start a folder where R is going to know that I'm working. In R lingo, this is called a project. And we start one by going up to file, new project, this will pull up a pop-up. It'll take a moment for me because my computer's old. And you'll have a choice between using a new directory or an existing directory or version control. So directory is just a folder. That's computer science lingo for folder. So do you want a new folder or do you want an existing one? I'm going to start a new folder for a new project, basically just where I'm going to save all my stuff as I'm learning R. So maybe I'll just call it R learning. And you can put it wherever you want. I'll leave it in my Google Drive. So now this creates a folder, and now R is going to know to look there for any documents sort of by default. If I want to find something elsewhere on my machine, I'll have to look for it with a little bit more, uh, it'll take a little bit more work. Finally, last thing I want to do is to put some add-ons into my R, um, some add-on packages. R is an old language, old language, I want to say late 80s or early 90s. The reason it remains vibrant to this day is that it provides users the ability to add on new functions, data sets, etc. of their own and to make those available to the public at large. 
Over time, some of those new functionalities, what we call packages, have become standard and have really become core to what R does. Chief among those are the Tidyverse family of packages. And so I want to put those on my machine right away with install.packages, parenthesis, quote, Tidyverse. And I'll execute that. That may take a few minutes on your machine. It'll be fast for me because I already have them installed. Um, if you're starting from scratch, this will take a bit of time. You can think of installing a package as like putting an app on your phone from you know the App Store or the Play Store or something. Your phone comes with lots of apps already, but probably not one for every single thing you want to do. So this is going onto the internet, pulling some new apps, some new packages onto your R. Now that's great that you have them installed. Whenever you want to use those packages, you have to actually open them up, much in the same way as if you're on your phone. If you want to use an app, you have to open it up. So in order to gain access to the Tidyverse packages, you need to do library parenthesis Tidyverse. And you don't need quotes around um, Tidyverse on this one. Just like with your phone, you have to open your app whenever you want to use it, but you only have to install the app once. So install that packages, you don't need to do again, but library Tidyverse you will at the start of every new session when you want to use any of these functions. I'm not going to talk about any of those functions in this vid, but I'll be using them in just about every vid I do going forward. So with those changes, you should be set up for some long-term success in R and R Studio.